As a judge, it's important that we see entries that are clear and concise. We've got a lot to get through today, so it's important you make it easy for us. As a judge, I really like to see an entry with lots of high quality evidence that's put succinctly and differentiates it from other entries. For me, the key thing is honesty. As we review your answers to your questions, uh, we measure that against the snapshot of your business. Uh, it's quite easy to, to, to find that out and, and if you're not being honest, you will get found out. The best advice I can give is after having looked at lots of the awards entries, please to read the question and actually sit back for a moment and think, what do they actually want me to put down in this? Treat it like a GCSE exam. Sit back, think, I need to make sure that what I'm answering is relevant to that particular question and don't get waffly. The best tip that I could give is to make your application visual. The judges get to look at an enormous amount of applications and yours needs to stand out. So photographs, images, of you, your staff or your business would really tell a story for the judges. Something I'm looking for in entry is passion. It's really, really vitally important that you try and transmit that message across to your customers as well as to your staff. I like to see a good set of measures within the business, so maybe six to ten really strong key performance indicators that show me that that business is being controlled and driven across all disciplines within that company. That tells me that the owner of the business is, is keeping a good eye on all departments and it's moving forward as one. Well, I think it's really important that they read the questions. I think, um, you know, having done a few, I think some people haven't. But I think it's also important to really have something to say that's outstanding about your business in, in two or three of the categories, because that will mark you out from the rest. Some of the entries we've had today have been great, but they haven't supported them with evidence to demonstrate what they've been saying. In providing uh, figures about the business plan and the projected growth from one year to another, if there is a massive step up from year one to year two, the fundamental rationale has to be clearly highlighted at the outset as to why. Is that a significant trade deal that's in the offing, etc.? Otherwise, it looks a bit dubious. Some businesses are very specific in their answers. What I'd like to see is a better overall picture of their business. Uh, as a judge, um, I want to see you be succinct and excite me. It needs to be the same as you uh, presenting yourself to a Dragon's Den. We've got to go through a lot of entries, so one that really stands out with vibrant colours, with pictures and with supporting marketing material really makes it quite, quite interesting to read. Something else I like to see as a judge, because I don't have a great deal of patience, is fairly succinct entries. Don't waffle if you don't have to. Just say it brief and say it short. Today, lots of people have been giving us web links to support their applications, but what we'd like to see is the hard copy. Facts and figures, really important. Lots of people put in their turnover and their profit, but they don't back it up with any evidence. So make sure you get a few lines in there, whether it's from your balance sheet or your profit and loss, or even a letter from your bank manager saying just what a good business you are. OK, a couple of things about the actual application. Please don't make it handwritten, because somewhere, somewhere along the line is not going to be able to read what you've written and should have advised you to be a doctor rather than an entrepreneur. And the other thing is, it's lovely to see all the testimonials and it's lovely to see all the added paperwork, but we really, really don't need a box folder. Just something attached to your entry. That's plenty. One of the things that I look for as a judge is a bit of passion in the entry and when that comes through it really does stand out. One of the things that we'd always advise is that uh, when you put your application together is to get somebody else to read it and if it takes them more than 10 minutes to process your application you know you've got a problem and you might want to look at cutting it down a little bit. I think one of the frustrating things as a judge is when uh, entries make claims that we can easily see just don't stack up. So if you're putting a claim in your application, please make sure you can back it up with evidence. Um, some of the judges have even been known to go to companies' house to check out financial information. Um, but we, you know, we've got the access to the internet and all these tools, so we can check out stuff. So if you're claiming something, please provide the evidence to back it up. As a judge, we're looking for um, concise, factual information that's to the point. We have to remember is that we will see a lot of applications during the course of the judging process and the more factual and informative it is the more chance you have of getting through. I'm looking for a company that's got something extra to offer as well, perhaps going the extra mile for the customer or a bit more commitment to their staff. When you're entering the awards keep it short and to the point, don't bombard me with data, short and sweet. 
as a judge, I think the main thing that we're looking for uh, is, is evidence from your clients and your customers that you are the best in what you do. And this has to be evidence-based. Obviously, we would all say we we're wonderful at whatever service we provide, but we're looking for hard evidence where people will come forward and give testimony as to the quality of your service and your products. As a judge, I look for people to be concise and not waffle on. One of the things that really annoys me is that people don't answer the questions concisely or even at all that they're actually asked for. As a seasoned judge, what I'm looking for is evidence, hard evidence, quick, easy and captivating. Sometimes when people send in an entry, it's the size of an encyclopedia. What I need to see is something concise where I can glean the facts quickly and easily. I'm very much looking for applications that are concise, uh, that explain exactly what the business does and why it's different and deserving of an award. If you're going to quote facts and figures, they have to be believable. Back them up with stats, back them up with evidence. The more you do, the better it will be. I like it when people answer the questions that they're asked and keeping it short and succinct because there's a lot to get through. As a judge, one of the things we look out for in any application is making it easy for the judge to read. So I would definitely advise that you put it into a hard binder, have the question on one side and back up evidence on the other side. OK, I'm looking for something that stands out really from the crowd, so uh, not too text heavy, um, some, certainly some evidence of what you're claiming um, that your business has done, but just something that will get noticed and stand out from the crowds. Get testimonials from your customers and your suppliers. Give us case studies of what you've done that's made a difference within your particular industry and just supply as much information as you can but in a format that's concise. The sort of thing I'll be looking for is hard data evidence, facts and figures that prove that companies are growing. When you're choosing which category to enter, uh, I think it's always useful to take advice from clients, friends, as to what they think that the category should be that you're really going for. Because it isn't necessarily the one that you would choose for yourself. Sometimes other people see qualities that you've uh, offered to your clients and they think you should go into a different category. So take some advice, think about it seriously, don't just jump for the first category that you think qualifies. If you're going to make claims in your entry you must back it up with evidence. I'd also like to see that there was a genuine interest in the sector and knowledge as well as their own business. The biggest single tip I can give you, and you'd be surprised how many people don't actually do this, answer the question. What I'd really like to see in the entry is some real passion from the business owner who's really determined to make their business a success. Whilst we need to see evidence, uh, we just don't need to be overwhelmed by it. We need it to be concise and to the point. As a judge, what personally I'll be looking for is passion. Regardless of what category you've entered, uh, what award you're looking to win, passion for me is the number one priority.